All right, I'm Joseph Newman, uh, and we're going to uh, have some young people here with us from North Texas University. This is Aaron. Diane's going to be hip assisting him. Uh, she's going to be a teacher, and Aaron's going to get the idea of the power it takes to even move the shaft of this seven and a half thousand pound motor. And Aaron's going to pick it straight up with one hand, straight over the shaft. Put your hand straight over it. Just, you're going to just do a curl. Go through. <laughs> and you can see how hard that is, and that's good. All right, and what I want is your honest opinion. What do you think the chances are the current out of this battery is going to run that motor? I'd probably say impossible by itself. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, good. And that's what I want people to understand. It is impossible by conventional wisdom that this can happen. Now this is from Energizer that you can pull up on the internet. <clears throat> they tell you a toy is a high drain device. See it in black here? Mm -hmm. Now what they're really telling you is don't put this toy, in, and here's a toy motor. That's a toy motor, this is a toy they're talking about. Feel the weight of that, there's nothing to it. <clears throat> now here's the smoke detector. It shows you a nine volt battery. <clears throat> And this is what the manufacturer of this battery is saying, this is what we recommend that you use, a garage opener, a clock radio, or smoke detector. <clears throat> they say even a baby monitor is a pretty, pretty high drain device, and, and that little toy motor that you're holding is a high drain device. Now you won't see a nine volt battery do anything of any work. So how are we gonna even move this seven and a half thousand motor, pound motor, hooked to that 375 pound mud pump because we'll take a nine volt battery that I've got right here that's brand new. Now what I want to do is just verify <clears throat> this is a brand new battery. And it's going to show 9.5 volts. Y'all see it? 9.5 volts. A brand new battery. All right, now let's take it and hook it to a little DC motor. Now this has got a pump on it, uh, but all it is is just a little tiny propeller in here, which is nothing compared to this big 375 pound mud pump you see back here. All right, now watch the meter, because I'm gonna touch this and it just will move this, this little pump, just real wide, real slow. Now watch how that bolt falls. You see it? It's dead. The battery is dead. What you reading? It's like one point. Three, one point four. It keeps moving around. <laughs> yep. All right, but see, you killed the battery, and and not only that, this battery is getting warm right now. Mm -hmm. One of these little batteries, and it's going to run that seven and a half thousand pound machine. Let me just hold it up here against it and get an idea of how tiny it is. Now I'm going to show y'all something that proves this to the lay people. This is a blow up from the Granger catalog. Now look at something. I've got it marked in yellow. Watch a one horsepower. This is the amps, 4.4 amps. You saw that little white DC motor kill that the instant I even touched it to it. Now this motor here draws 4.4 amps and 230 volts to 460 volts. All right, now let's go down to a 10 horsepower. A 10, 10 horsepower draws 25.2 amps. Notice something, it weighs 360 pounds. This one horsepower motor weighed 89 pounds. So the mass gets bigger and bigger for the horsepower. Let's go to 50 horsepower. Now it's 57 amps and it weighs 636 pounds. Now it's 100 horsepower. 121 amps, and this is 1,660 pounds. You can see as the motor gets bigger, it draws more amps, <clears throat> which is more power, because the voltage is basically the same, 230 to 460. When it gets down to here to these big motors, they're all 460. 225 amps on a 200 horsepower, and the motor weighs 2,200 pounds. Can you see it's totally telling you 
that the conventional motors that they say is highly efficient, best motors in the world, they run off a of current. This motor weighs 2,200 pounds. Now, if that other motor weighs 2,200 pounds, that's three times the weight of that conventional motor in the Granger catalog. If that's drawing 225 amps, this ought to be at least three times that, 600 and some odd amps is what it should be drawing. This will change your earth. And it's just like all the way back from Socrates to Max Planck. An advancement of new technology is not done by the old, they die away. It's you, the young, who grow up familiar with it, that bring it forward. That's why it's up to you. Now with that, we'll start running the motor. Now y'all can see that gets faster and faster as this voltage gets higher and higher. Now you got 10,000 volts on that pole out there. What do you think would happen if I put 10,000 volts on this machine? What kind of power would you think it had? Unlimited. Now I want y'all to keep something in mind. These batteries are in series. The current is still. Just running that machine is from this only. Now it's up to you, the young people, to spread this across the world and put it on the internet and have all your friends tell them, pull up this site. And if you care about your own well-being, the power brokers have fought this man all of his life. And I'm 73 and I'm still a tiger. And I'm fighting for y'all. But y'all gotta fight for yourself because the power brokers don't want you to have this. They wanna keep charging you for gasoline. If this batteries will run this seven and a half thousand pound machine, you know it'll run a car. It'll run industry, it'll run the world, it'll run ships, it'll run planes, it'll run anything. This motor is unbiased, totally unbiased. It'll change y'all's world. That's why you have a source now, the internet, you can beat the power brokers of the world with this. Now this thing will run long, way past the time you've got to stay here and see it. What questions do y'all want to ask me for the young people?